Um, in Dickerson's stairwell, she uses a type of printmaking called aquatint. And aquatint, basically you coat the surface of the plate with a porous ground through which acid can penetrate. The particles of the resin or powder, the ground is then dusted onto the plate, then set in a pl um, place by heating it until it melts. The acid bites the surface, creating a sandpaper-like texture. You can see that in this piece. If you look closely, you can see how the white and the yellow have this kind of um, impressionist or pointillist quality to it. Um, in this piece, the artist expressed the underside of contemporary culture that lurks as an ever-present possibility in our lives. The fill, the acid biting into the plate, makes the metaphor for pain and isolation of the figure leaning over the stair, well, very scary. In this print, the artist uses a form of printmaking called lithograph, or stone writing. It's a panographic um, printmaking process, meaning that the printed surface is flat. The idea is that water and oil don't mix. There are no raised or depressed surfaces on the plate to hold the ink. It relies completely on that idea of grease and water don't mix. Lithograph became one of the favorites of the 19th century artist because it's easy to do. Ink would st stick to the grease drawing but not to the treated and damped stone. Um, this print was a direct reportage of the outrageous, um, outrageousness committed by the government troops during an insurgence in the Paris work quarters in 1834. And this man had been killed. All the people in this, I thought they were drunk for some reason, but then on further reading about this piece, they were shot and killed. In this silk screen, Enter the Rice Cooker, 1994, the artist is using silk screens or silographs. It's basically a, ni a nylon is stretched over a frame and stencil is made by painting a substance such as glue across the fabric where the ink cannot pass. And I've actually done these, they're pretty easy to do. And you just keep changing out what colors can pass through the screen and what colors can't and you do several runs of color registries. Um, this one is just kind of making fun of the idea of what Western culture sees Asians as, you know, the samurai with their rice and the beautiful lady behind the, the um, gridded curtain.
In this print, Dream Horse G, 1986, it's a monotype. And a monotype just means there's only one print. Basically, the artist kind of paints it on to whatever it is and then runs it through one time. Um, this is the main thing you need to know here is it is a monotype. And this is a horse. It's kind of abstract. You have your warm colors in the floor foreground and you have your cooler colors in the back so it looks like it's moving through space. So Andy Warhol is a pretty well-known um, printmaker from this century, 1967, turn, middle, middle 20th century. I'm sure you've seen his stacked cans. This is Marilyn Monroe. He is using silk screens to, he takes iconic models, um, symbols of our time, and, sh and makes them kind of garish. So it's, a, it's very much pop art. And you want to remember, I think the pre-test had several of them. I don't know why people like his work so much. I'm not the biggest fan. For whatever reason, I find it incredibly graphic, meaning like he looks like he's trying to sell something. And I just, and that's the point. He's just saying, you know, our society's just turned into commun um, into consumerism. So I just, don't, I just don't find it very appealing. But just remember, this is very much his calling card.